In this video, we will solve a problem on optimization. The question is, a firm wishing to maximize its output subject to the budget has the following production and cost function. This is the production function of a firm where Q is equal to 40, K to the power 0.25 times L to the power 0.75. K and L are units of capital and labor and Q is our output. It has the following uh, budget constraint that is C is equal to, which is cost. Uh, which is equal to 4k plus 8l is equal to 40 okay we have to set a constraint maximizing problem the question says uh, you know construct the constraint and maximizing problem second is construct the language function for this question find the critical values okay of capital and labor and also confirm whether critical values present a maximum or not okay so for the first thing we have we are being told to set the constraint maximizing problem we have this production function we also call it the objective function we want to maximize our production function which is q is equal to 40 k to the power uh, you know 0.25 can be written as 1 upon 4 l to the power 0.75 can be written as 3 upon 4 we want to maximize our production function subject to the budget constraint what will be our budget constraint simply uh, 4k plus 8l is equal to zero uh, is equal to 40 okay we want to maximize this objective function subject to this constraint okay so this is the answer for the first part here this 4 and 8 are the you know price of capital and price of labor here second part tells us construct the language function okay how do we construct the language function simple thing first we write this this budget constraint and set it equal to zero okay so to construct the language function we set this uh, constraint function equal to zero so we have 40 minus 4k minus 8l we set it equal to zero okay after that we multiply this uh, you know resulting constraint with lambda okay second step is to multiply it by lambda so we have 40 minus 4k minus 8l okay we have multiplied it with lambda then to form the leverages function what we do uh, let us denote the leverages function by u our leverages function will be equal to we add up the objective function this objective function and this resulting constraint okay so our language function will be the you know aggregate of this production function what we call objective function and this resulting constraint so we have uh, 40 uh, k to the power 1 upon 4 l to the power 3 upon 4 to this we add this uh, resulting constraint and our constraint is lambda uh, 40 minus uh, 4k minus 8l and it this is our language function okay now the third part tells us uh, find the critical values okay so we need to find out, out the optimal values of capital and labor employed okay subject to the given production a given cost and the given production function okay so third part is to find out the critical values how do we find simply what we do to find the critical values of capital and labor what we do we take the partial derivative of this language function with respect to capital labor and set them equal to zero and solve it simultaneously simple thing let us denote u subscript l as the partial derivative of this uh, language function with respect to l okay let's take the partial derivative of this language function with respect to l so if we take partial derivative so we are interested with this l so the exponent of this uh, l will become our coefficient so we have 3 upon 4 then we have 40 uh, k to the power 1 upon 4 and this uh, you know the exponent of this l, l will be subtracted by 1 so l 
if we subtract 1 here so 3 minus 4 comes out to be minus 1 upon 4 okay then since we are taking the partial derivative with respect to l so here its derivative is 0 here it is a derivative is 0 the derivative of l is 1 so we are left with minus 8 minus 8 into lambda is minus 8 lambda and we set it equal to 0 okay so simple thing to find the you know critical values of capital and labor we take the partial derivative of this language function with respect to capital labor and lambda and solve them simultaneously okay and set them up obviously equal to zero now next part will be to take the derivative with respect to capital so u subscript k means the partial derivative of this language function with respect to capital okay since we are taking with respect to k so its coefficient will its exponent will become coefficient by power function rule so we have 1 upon 4 uh, 40 and exponent will be subtracted by 1 okay so k to the power 1 upon 4 minus 1 will come out to be minus 3 upon 4 okay then we have l 3 upon 4 then we since we are taking the a partial derivative with respect to k since only in the middle this term is k involved so its derivative will be here the derivative of k is 1 so we are left with minus 4 minus 4 into lambda will be minus 4 lambda and we set it equal to 0 after that we take the derivative of this you know language function with respect to lambda okay u subscript lambda means taking partial derivative of this function with respect to lambda so since no lambda is involved in the first term its derivative is 0 the derivative of lambda is 1 we are left with 40 minus 4k minus 8l is equal to 0 okay let us say this is equation first this is equation second this is equation third okay and uh, to save you know the space i will you know uh, equate it here if i transpose it here it will become plus lambda plus 8 lambda and it will it will become plus 4 lambda simple thing i will just uh, you know subsume two steps in these two steps okay so let's divide equation first by equation second okay dividing equation one with equation second so here 4 1s are 4 10s are 40 we are we have here 10 k to the power minus 3 upon 4 l sorry i'm really sorry so this is our equation first 4 1s are 4 10s are 40 uh, 3 10s are 30 so we get here 30 okay then we have k to the power 1 upon 4 l to the power minus 1 upon 4 okay to this we divide this function which is 4 ones are 4 tens are 40 so we have 10 here then we have k to the power minus 3 upon 4 then we have l to the power 3 upon 4 okay since we have divided the lhs let's divide the rhs we have 8 lambda upon 4 lambda okay so we have here 3 ones are 3 tens are so sorry 10 ones are 10 threes are 30 we are left with 3 if i transpose this k to the power minus 3 upon 4 to numerator it will get multiplied with this k and the exponent sign will change simple thing we have k to the power 1 upon 4 in the numerator we have k to the power minus 3 upon 4 in the denominator this can be written like this k to the power 1 upon 4 and if i transpose this numerator okay to that sorry this denominator to numerator it will get multiplied and its exponent sign will change it is minus 3 upon 4 it will become 3 upon 4 okay so if since bases are same we can add up the exponents it will become k to the power 1 upon 4 plus 3 upon 4 and you know this comes out to be only uh, 4 upon 4 which is equal to k okay so solving these two we will get only k divided by in the same process when i transpose this numerator to denominator it will get multiplied with this l and 
the exponent of this L will get changed. Okay, and we will get only L here should be equal to lambda lambda cancel four ones are four twos are okay, which implies three uh, k is equal to two L, which gives us k is equal to two L upon three. Okay. Now just plug this value of k uh, into the budget constraint this is our budget constraint either you can put it in this constraint function or in this constraint function okay let's uh, put it in this okay cost function so we have 4 k the value of k is 2 l upon 3 so i will write 2 l upon 3 okay then we have plus 8 l is equal to 40 so this becomes uh, which implies 4 to the 8 l upon 3 plus 8 l is equal to 40 which gives us okay so 3 years are 24 24 plus 8 is 32 l 32 l upon 3 uh, is equal to 40 which implies our l will be equal to 40 we have 32 upon 3 when I multi, you know, transpose it to the RHS, it will get reciprocated and multiplied. 32, okay. So we have four eights are, four eights are, sorry, eight fours are, eight fours are 32, eight fives are 40. So five threes are 15. So L is equal to 15 upon four. So the critical value of L will be 15 upon four. To find the value of K, just plug this. Uh, L is equal to this stuff again into this uh, you know uh, constraint function so when we do that okay so we have 4 uh, we have K plus we have 8 the value of L is 15 upon 4 okay uh, should be equal to 40 so we have 4K Four ones are four twos are so two uh, uh, two fifteens are thirty is equal to forty so we have four k is equal to no, when I transpose it will get subtracted forty minus let me write it here okay don't get confused so four k is equal to ten or k is equal to ten upon four which comes out to be for you upon two so these are the critical values of capital and labor okay so our you know optimal values of capital and labor required given this production function subject to this cost for cost function rather this budget constraint here is the value of labor should be equal to 15 upon 4 and the, you know capital will be equal to for you upon two now we also need to confirm whether the critical values present uh, a maximum or not for that we need to check the second order condition okay so we have to use the bordered bordered hishon method okay to check whether we got these uh, you know critical values at maximum or not okay since there is no space uh, you know available here i have um, you know explain it in other videos how to use the border hishan method in checking the second order condition so you can just i will put uh, the link of that very video into the this uh, in the description box okay so i will not be able to solve all that stuff again because it will get messy here okay i hope i make myself clear thank you